Hello. Uh, still can't hear you. Hello. Hello, we don't know whether anybody can hear us. <laughs> Stephen's disappeared. Hello, I wonder if you can hear us. No, we don't seem to be getting any any noise at all. Can people let us know? Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Kelly, can you tell us me if you can hear me? There's no volume, Stephen. Okay, so people said he can hear me. <laughs> so I think what we're going to do is get Stephen to click start the video and uh, get on with things. Hi, I uh, haven't had a lot of time this week uh, to make up a great tutorial, but I think you will find what's in this one today interesting. So, um, oh, I haven't had the time, by the way, because my daughter's had a little girl unexpectedly arrived four weeks early on Tuesday, so uh, been a bit busy with that. So, what I'm going to do in this tutorial is talk to you about making your photos more interesting okay so let's uh, put that to uh, making photos more interesting okay um, drop my logo on okay so we normally put photos up of products people etc where do we put them well we quite often put them on a pin board so let's create a corkboard background uh, this is one i just found on the net and uh, uploaded there are some actually in the uh, in the media section um but uh, they seem to be all four to three rather than 16 to nine so we've got that there and it fits perfectly so I need a couple of photos. I'm going to use some I've already pre-loaded up and they're uh, products that uh, are from one of my clients. Okay, and I'm going to move that one there. What we're going to do isn't necessarily for clients, uh, for client work, but is to create an interest really. So we've got two pictures up here and they're quite pretty but they're not very exciting, are they? So what could we do to make them more exciting? Well, we could twist them a bit. Now let's take the other one the other way. So this one's minus 18 and this one is plus 18, yeah? So that again has straight away given us a bit more interest. Okay. But there's still two things up there. So what could we do that would give them more interest? Well, we could give them a frame. So if we go to outlines, we could use a frame. 
So we could take that square. I keep forgetting that I have to click to add it. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the colour because it's black and the photos are pretty black and I've got a white. And then I'm going to stretch it. Yep. And I'm going to tilt it to 18 degrees, would you believe? Okay, and now I can move it over my picture and I can drag it out. Okay, we seem to be slightly out on the 18 degrees. Oh, I hadn't uh, done 18 degrees, I've done 17. So if we pull that out now, there, we've made it a bit more interesting because now it's got a frame around it. So these are not fantastically difficult things to do, but it does make it more interesting. I'm going to move the uh, text up out of the way and I'm going to do the same over here. I'm going to click on it, turn it white. And hey presto, I can take that over here. I can make that bigger. And I can do minus 18 degrees. And I better make sure I do 18 and not 17 like I did before. And I can pop that over there. I can pull that down. Take it down just a bit that way. Maybe a little too far that side. Whoops. Okay. And now they're much more interesting than what we had before. So that's quite good. But the next question is, can I do that with a video? Well, the answer is, of course you can. So the first thing we're going to do is duplicate the scene. Yes. And uh, going to get rid of what we've already got. OK. And only click on here. And change that to say videos more interesting okay so let's now go to media go to videos and let's find a video um let's type people in and see if we can find a picture of people okay so here we've got a picture of people do we see anything interesting there uh well we see some people walking up along so let's take that video drop it onto here so we're going to add it as a layer um, I'm not going to mess around with it too much I'm just literally going to knock it down a bit in length okay so we've got that there we can make it whatever size we want and yes once again I can tip it to 18 degrees, 19, 16. I'm going to tip this one to 8 degrees and I'm going to go back to my shapes. I'm going to go to my outlines and this time I'm going to bring on an oblong one. Again, I'm going to change the colour. I'm going to make it white, but it could have been any colour you wanted. And I'm going to make it bigger and then I'm going to move it to 8 degrees. Take it back up to the corner. Pull it down. Pull it down this way. And hey presto, I've got a frame around my video. And uh, we'll just preview that. Or you can see I haven't quite pulled it down far enough. So let's click on the frame. Put it down a bit more, preview the frame, and hey presto, just makes it that bit more interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to preview the two frames. I haven't put any animation on the photos, but you could do if you wanted to. And I'm going to export the video, and then I will... Thank you. 
okay so we've uh, seen the video uh, I showed it to my wife and she said it needs a bit more realism how are the things staying there and also I need to take the activity off the background so let's go to the background media image one go to edit go to animation and I want to remove the zoom because we want that to stay static so I'm making that none um, I'm nip going to nip to the other scene and also remove it from there as well so we stop the cork board moving so that's make gonna make those static but a hint of more realism is required according to my wife and she then says they need a pin to keep them up there so we're going to add a pin as a layer uh, i bought it in from uh, from uh, a library and it's got no background as you can see so we're going to add the pin ah but something wrong isn't there so what we need to do is go to layers and media images get put to the bottom so we're going to drag that media image up the layers to bring it to the front and then I think I'm just going to make it just a little bit smaller and pin it to there so we've done that one let's uh, control C control V does that give me another one? no so I don't seem to have been able to control C, control V. That's given me another one. Uh, let's just bring that to the front. Uh, that's media image five. So we bring that to the front. And let's take this one, which was media image four over to here. And we're going to use our angles again. To stick that in at a slightly different angle because let's face it when we pin things we never get the pin straight do we this one i think needs a little bit more angle as well to make it accurate so that's uh given a bit more realism and of course we can go to the second scene and control v we can bring our pin back here and again we need to go to layers and take media image three up to there put it to be pinning in and again i'm going to rotate it to make it just look a bit more accurate okay so those changes are there i'm not going to uh, run the video again through and paste the video on to there um, so I'm going to preview it and you can see we've got that little extra bit of realism as requested by the wife and in a moment we'll move to the second scene So I'll just stop that and I hope you found the exercise worthwhile and uh, have uh, enjoyed this video. Okay, so that's the uh, video complete and Stephen's back. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. I had a Windows update last night and it's totally made things rather messy. <laughs> And do that video. I actually learned something, and say thank you to Celia as well um, for helping. Okay, so that's that's John's lesson of the week, and um, um, and uh, little babies called Dotty or Dorothy, Patricia, Suzanne, Addison, because obviously that's my daughter's. Mm. husband's surname um born for 1536 on tuesday afternoon weighing at four pounds and a little bit 
and mother and daughter are doing they're well. doing fine yeah good, good to hear uh right i was speaking to joe shepherd earlier and uh we're talking about video and he's going to do some videos and we're talking about uh exit and backdrops and we actually got this backdrop during that show or during that chat and that's why i decided to use it in this broadcast too okay all right i've got a little video i'm going to bring it up on screen and i'm going to make it full screen okay now this was made entirely with nvidia and is going to be used in promoting shows next week if i press play it should start <laughs> Okay, you're back. All right. Right, all yours. I was saying you're advertising the training you're doing for Be Live for all five days next week. Correct. A second through six different shows every day, all on YouTube and all with a team of people who got to know each other well. And uh, we'll be broadcasting live on YouTube with a replay on Facebook. And it's open to everybody, and you can join us on the camera, you can ask questions, and uh, really get involved. But we're, we're now celebrating the fact that Studio 2, well, Studio 2 is the system that we're using today, a system everybody will be using from next Monday. So that's why we're going to be going over the benefits of Studio 2, how to work Studio 2, and then through the week until we get to Friday when we talk about going live on YouTube, and running a YouTube channel where people actually come and watch. There's a difference between having a YouTube channel and running a channel that people watch. So we'll be discussing that and helping you by giving you hints, tips and tricks as to what you can do to bring your YouTube channel to life. So that's a practical application. Now, I've got to say that that original video uh, was made within video and people sent in their photographs that they wanted uh, to be used. So that's all with their help and yeah and i saw the mad hatter in there <laughs> yeah yeah you've got the fonds fonds joe marco uh brigetti linda um lottie and uh, also tina and joe. of course david david joe. yeah joe so it's first first time joe's jo uh, been with us and uh looking forward to that because he has successfully built a brand uh, on Facebook uh, where people in their thousands come and watch his shows and we'll be hearing how he did it and his hints, tips and tricks for actually attracting an audience. These are the practical tips. He started from nowhere uh, about 15 months ago and he's built it up consistently by just by doing stuff and we'll be finding out what stuff on Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday is the imposter um, 
Well, I suppose it's it's basically when you think you can't do something and you're telling yourself, no, I can't go live, no, I can't go live. What uh, tricks can you actually use so that you end up live on camera? And that's by uh, Marco and by the team of people around us. So really looking forward to that next week. I'll take that down off screen as we come back to us. I'm glad that my microphone is working. At last, it makes it a lot easier. We can actually talk to each other. Okay, to answer Kelly's question, can you layer a video over a video with sound, one with sound and one without? The answer is yes, because the bigger video will have the sound. The problem is your second video won't start until your first video finishes. So I guess the real answer is, at the moment no but i suspect when the new timeline and i hear on the internal wagons from uh, sanket that uh, it's not very far away that may well over be overcome yeah and fonz is saying can you hear me better now so that's good uh, i did actually have a voice this morning it was just slightly muted <laughs> but you said on the recording it was okay but we could barely hear you this morning right anyway we can hear you now and that's all that matters yeah. <laughs> recording it was anyway okay let's catch up because i've been remiss in saying hello to people hello to kelly hello to barry and hello to fonz who's there yeah the fonz is here indeed the um, mad hatter all right. Although I'm not sure whether he's all here because it says 50% on his hat. But uh, there. Okay, so we've gone through all that. Right, now, of course, uh, NVIDIA are pro quite probably the best people to give you the software that you need to create short form videos. And we can go up to 15 minutes, John, depending on the plan. Yes, you can go up to 15 minutes. Uh, I think go up to 15 minutes on all the plans now. You just can't make as many videos. Right. Okay. So you can actually create a, a mini series in 15 minutes. Because um, you, can, you can record your own video. You can put that into uh, in video. It's not just about using stock video. You can create your own video, bring that in, and use it and put voiceovers on it and do all sorts of wonderful things. So kudos to the guys in video who keep on improving. And they came. Oh, I've got two things I've forgotten. Okay. Which I'm going to bring in now, hopefully. And uh, just a minute. Ah, yes. There they are. I found one. And they recently featured on Product Hunt and were product of the day on the 19th of february and they also became we get there product of the week so product that's not the right one is it Hi. no that still says product of the day <laughs> product of the week there you are congratulations in video Becoming, yeah, a round of applause from both of us for becoming product of the week, which takes some doing. I mean, that there are literally hundreds of software packages that actually go through product in hunt in any given week, and to be product of the day second is good, but to be product of the week, well, that's an accolade that's hard won. And the thing that amazed me, John, is the number of people who actually voted for Nvidia. They actually took the logged into Product Hunt and actually pressed the. Uh, vote for me button was phenomenal um so it just shows that everybody here it, it was several so people have looked on on this people have looked at it and said hang on number two product of the day but when they go to the day february 20 and look they see that in video has a massive number compared with the product that actually won but that's because in videos numbers were spread over a number of days yeah. um and the actual product that was product today won by about 50 clicks so there uh, but the product what was product of the day was you know nowhere near as good over the whole week 
Indeed. Sting. Shade voted. Did you know that? Does he pronounce it Shade or Sharda or what? Sorry, Kelly. <laughs> I, I'm going with. Only... Yeah, it's only 50%. I can't find the rest. That's 50% of himself, I think, rather than 50% uh -huh. of his act. <laughs> and Kelly voted. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's one thing I'd like to have a little uh, mention about to do with that. Oh, There's been a lot in the group about people who bought via AppSumo, yeah, don't have access to premium videos. That's a fact okay they were not in the bundle that people bought however if you when you're in in video go to the little chat button in the bottom corner talk to the guys they'll make you an offer that takes into account what you've spent and you can buy either an annual upgrade or you can buy a lifetime upgrade that gets you the premium products, uh, which is not just the videos, but things like voiceover, etc. So just a small point. It's dead easy to rectify the situation and it won't cost you the earth to do it. And if you bought uh, one layer or six layers, or they're not called layers, but that sort of thing from uh, from the uh, AppSumo people, your differential is based on what you've already spent. Here endeth the lesson. <laughs> and the word you're looking for is stacking. If you stack, thank you. But I could yeah. not think of it on the flight. <laughs> I mean, I, I, <laughs> but layers are stacked, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. I think it, it won't surprise people that this show is not rehearsed ever. Uh, no, John obviously it takes time to prepare the video that's it, it, the lesson that's actually shown i mean there's a lot of love that goes and attention that goes into that but everything else is totally free form anything can happen and usually does and earlier i lost my voice so if you stayed with us so far thank you we're coming up to the uh, i didn't realize i was live either which didn't help matters <laughs> oh, I, wondered, I, I put a message on the bottom which said well <laughs> Yeah, but that was only when it clicked on that I was live. <laughs> well, it said, it said. Start the bloody show. I know, I know. I did see it in the end. It said, start the show. It said, first of all, it said start the show. And I thought, well, that's not been seen. So I'll do start the show. You're good to go. And anyway, we got there. <laughs> we got there in the end, didn't we? Yeah, everything, everything was set up to go. And it all worked out. It, it, all's well that ends well. And uh, oh, to follow. I'm the same, John, to know what I want to say, but can't remember the past of the broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Me. Right. Okay. Um, so we've we've almost hit our half an hour. We have. So, as tradition has it, well, I did a silent intro. <laughs> <laughs> what intro? Uh, what ah, what what intro? It, it, it was the best intro I've ever done. <laughs> All the words in the right order, um, but you'll never hear it because it was it fell on the cutting room floor. <laughs> it was the way to actually sort out my Microsoft Windows system. Microsoft yeah. Hello has stopped uh, working. It won't recognise the Microsoft camera anymore. Um, so that's not. I, I, can't log in visually um so i've got to sort that out and it's m played merry havoc with all the microphones and everything so they come and go the man of many microphones eh? i've only got i've got i've got the one microphone there and i've got the microphone well two microphones i've got and a virtual microphone and they're all getting confused anyway from Richard in England, I'm going to say thank you for watching and hand over to John. I'm going to make one reminder before we go. We'd really like to feature your videos. So all you have to do in the group, message either me or Stephen. We'll tell you how to send them to us mm -hmm. and uh, we'll feature it in next week's show. And that's over oh, there. And I will do one more time. Ablish, or I'll never say his name, Mr. Handy. 
you are invited to be on the show as is Sankit. Now I know Sankit's out to the country at the moment, so uh, he might not see this, but please, we'd love to interview you and have you on the show or any other member of the team. So it's goodbye from Solihull and it's goodbye from him in Wiltshire. Right. Bye. Bye. I'm just leaving that on screen for a moment. And oh, yeah, great show. Good on your phones. Good on your phones. <laughs> when we've got the two of us, we've got the two medals that uh, NVIDIA won from Product Hunt, and we can use that as a screenshot. So thank you, Fonz.